I haven't read a horoscope for a couple of decades now. I don't think any hidden knowledge about myself and my destiny would be revealed by the date I was born, or by which constellation was ascending in the horizon at the hour I was separated from my mother's womb. I won't even allow to myself the possibility that me reading the horoscope would induce me into acting a certain way. I don't believe that any part of my personality could be attributed to my zodiac sign. Yet I have a strong self-identifying connection with it. I'm a Sagittarius. It means nothing, but I am and I recognize that as part of my identity. When I was born, the sun was transiting between the constellation of a scorpion and a fucus, the scorpion and the snake handler. But given that the horoscope was fixed to the tropical year instead of the sidereal year, the perception of the equinoxes has shifted the perceived constellation from the time of the years. Does it have any meaning? Well, no. Neither the scorpion nor the snake handler means anything to me, and the only meaning I give to the arrow throwing centaur is symbolic. When I came to the Chinese horoscope, I was already skeptical to any further meaning those symbols have. I happen to have been born in the year of the rat, and in most Western traditions the rat is a filthy animal. A rat is not the proudest animal to be part of your self-identity, or is it? Rats are very recursive animals and one of the ultimate survivors. In the tradition of the Chinese years, the rat earned being the first animal in the horoscope for being tricky, deceptive and smart. I have adopted with certain pride being a rat. I have been using the rat as an alternative identification online. Actually, when I first came to IRC, I didn't use my more personal and recognized identity, but my rat identity. But in almost any other instance, the rat appeared as an alternative identity when I needed to totally or partially conceal my main identity. Rata Flechera, Spanish for Arotron Rat, came originally as an alternative identity in Twitter and it refers to my two horoscope symbols, the Assyria Babylonian zodiac symbol of the arrow thrower, the Sagittarius, and the Chinese zodiac symbol of the rat. I didn't expect it to be a long living identity, but it evolved that way, plugging this identity into other services. An ultimate ironic twist, when I began to use my arrow throwing rat identity in YouTube, I began to use mainly to comment in English, mainly in videos about the face-ethics debate. But I love that irony, don't you?